Welcome Cosplay. And today I'm here with Plaid Cosplay and we're going to be making this realistic knight's helm. Check it out. The metal effect is so cool with the blood splatter. Be sure to check out all the products listed in the description and let's get started. First, to make your knight's helm, we're going to start off with this downloadable pattern. It's very customizable. You can either have the plume or you can leave it off. All instructions for making the helm are included in the PDF. This tutorial is going to cover all the techniques used on making realistic metal effects. For the plume, we're going to be adding details along the Dremel lines here. We're going to deepen this detail by using a wood burning set featuring a temperature control. Here's the universal point. The temperature gauge has red, orange, and yellow indications on how hot it is. We'll be using the red section. Start off with long, clean strokes, but they don't have to be perfect. You do this along the entire thing, starting off on one section and going all the way through. And here you go. For the next step, we're going to be adding rivets to the knight's helm. To do that, we're going to be using the hot stamping points in circle. Press firmly, just like that. And then we do this anywhere we want to add this detail. Rivets are a great addition to add to the knight's helm because it makes it look more realistic. Once you assemble all the pieces together, you're going to prime with Mod Podge Gloss. For our base coat, we're going to be using Folk Art Brushed Metal in Brushed Black. Don't forget to have your water basin. For this step, I'm using a flat brush. I really think it just helps the overall smooth appearance on your first coat. Dip your brush into the water and then into your paint. I like keeping the bristles wet with water because it helps reduce brush strokes on your first layer. I'm using quick movements and making sure not to have any paint cake up around the edges. Long quick movements. Wow, it already makes such a difference. Going into the next step, we're going to be using pale silver. Don't forget to put a paper towel down, it's important. Put some paint onto your brush and then dab really forcefully onto the paper towel. What you're trying to do is get off as much paint as possible. Then start from the inside of your piece and work outward. What we're doing is creating texture on your base. Just keep going all the way around. Wow, that is such a big difference. Just dab, 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 dab. It's pretty aggressive. Make sure to get into all the little crevices too if you can, but don't have full coverage. Now we're going to go back in with brushed black and do the same technique but all the way around the edges. Dabbing is important because it's creating shading and this adds more texture. We're really going for a realistic metal effect which this paint is perfect for. Just keep dabbing. If you need to, you can use your fingers to smooth out areas that might have a little bit more paint than you want. Here you go. For this next step, we're going to be using a flat brush with brush dark gray. Put a little bit onto your brush and to your paper towel. For this step, when you apply the paint, use the side of your flat brush. This helps buff the paint onto your surface. We don't want to hide the texture that's underneath, we just want to soften it. This helps add the realism of the metal look that we're going for. Quick, swift movements making sure not to apply too much paint onto your surface. Here's a before and after. Now we're gonna add a wash. To do that, we're going to use the Folk Art Pure Black and some water. This is about a one-to-one -one ratio. We're gonna use a flat brush here just mix it, make sure you have a pretty nice consistency. 
Go around the edges working in sections. The paint dries pretty quickly, so you don't want to work in too big of a space. Take a paper towel and wipe it away, but don't wipe it all away. This is going around all of the areas that it could recess, and it deepens the look, making it look more like metal. Grab yourself a new paper towel and a scruffy brush. We're gonna go back in with Brush Pill Silver and add some highlights and texturing. Using quick, swift brush strokes, go around the edges of your helm. All of these layers of paint are really adding to the worn look that we're going for. To paint the plume, we're going to be using a flat brush in Folk Art Engine Red. Apply two coats and allow it to dry in between each. Here's what the plume looks like finished. Allow the paint to fully dry and then we're going to be going back in with a wash just like we did on the helm earlier. Make sure not to work on too large of surface areas because the paint can dry quickly. Once you have black painted on, we're going to wipe away with a paper towel. Alrighty, time to add some blood. Using the red with a little bit of black, this helps the blood have a more realistic pigmentation. Make sure that your brush is super saturated with water so it has an easy flow. We're gonna splatter the blood onto the face of the helm. I'm using my finger as a brace to help with the splatter fall naturally. Go as much as you want. If you wanna have some more drips, tap your helm onto the table to help it fall naturally. This is what it looks like. It's pretty gory. If you need to touch up any areas, just go back in with your brush and make sure that it looks natural. Here you go. To protect our paint, we're gonna be using a new product called Mod Podge Ultra. Give it a firm shake and spray off to the side all the way down. Then you're gonna go on and spray liberally. You can use a paintbrush to also help with any drips that are happening. I really like using this product because it's no brush strokes, durable, and isn't tacky. And here we have it, a finished, bloody, metal night helm. These techniques and products are perfect for making a metal finish. You can do it too. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you learned a lot about how to make realistic metal effects. If you'd like to be a knight too, be sure to hashtag plaid crafts and plaid cosplay because we'd love to see your work. Don't forget to like, follow, and share. And until next time, happy crafting.